guys, we're going to tell you 10 of the top things that surprise foreigners in Malaysia. Today I'm joined by Solo, who you may know from the YouTube channel Traveling Solo Logs. <laughs> Thing number one that surprised me the most when I came to Malaysia how widely spoken English is in Malaysia. Yeah, I'm surprised that everyone here could speak English. Literally, like, there wasn't a time where I was in Malaysia where I didn't hear anyone not speaking English. No. Everyone can speak very good English, even whether they're, like, younger or older. People don't seem to have a hard time speaking English, which is amazing and super helpful for foreigners. Okay, thing number two would have to be the people. People here are friendly and very helpful, too. So whenever you're walking the streets of Malaysia, you feel like you're lost or don't know what to do or don't know what to eat, just talk to someone. They're very friendly because they can speak English, as she said. They're really curious of, like, foreigners, like, like where you come from. So a lot of times I've been asked on the street, like, where are you from? Do you need any help? Just by random people. There's been so many times where I've been, like, trying to use Google Maps and I've been like, Oh, I don't know where it's going, I don't know where to go. And then I've just been like, right, remember, just ask a local. Ask the locals and the locals always guide you and give you the best way to go. That's a hot tip in Malaysia, ask a local. Surprise number three is how much variety of local and Western things there are in Malaysia. Particularly in Kuala Lumpur, I've found that if you want to go find the local, local Malaysian food, Kampung Baru, child kit areas they are like the best places to go especially for the local Malaysian food and then on the opposite end of the spectrum there's all these western food places what else they have Nando's McDonald's KFC. Burger King KFC and if you haven't watched my McDonald's video yet go watch that one next hey by the way what's your favorite Malaysian food my favorite Malaysian food yeah is got to be nasi karabu no way is that yours all right, that's my number two. I was oh. going to say satay is number one, but Nancy Caribou is number two. Oh, satay. I like satay. A satay. But do you like chicken or beef satay? I have to go with chicken. Uh -huh. I'm a chicken lover. I'm, I'm chicken. a lamb and beef, always. What's your favorite satay? Let us know. Comment down below. Number four, numero quattro, something that surprised me in Malaysia, is the diversity over here. People come from all different types of walks of life over here. It's not just one type of people, like one type of ethnicity. There's so many different races here. The three main races over here is Malay, Chinese, and Indian. And they have a other minorities here too. So many different types of people from different walks of life. People are more open-minded, kind of like my country, America. That's why our flags are pretty similar too, so you know. That's good, I like that, I like that. I like that too, because I said it, so I like it too. <laughs> Thing number five that shocked me the most about coming to Malaysia, and I think this actually was the most shocking thing for me, not necessarily for you, but that is that you guys use the same plugs as we use in the UK. The three pin plugs that look a little bit like this. And the reason why this was so surprising for me is because I traveled through Thailand and Vietnam. They use the two pin plugs, then come in here, I never had to use the adapter. <laughs> yeah, because going to every country, every country has so many different types of plugs, so... Can be a yeah. little bit of a... Challenging, especially when you want to charge all your, all your stuff. Yeah, for sure. Number six, something that surprised me here, that Malaysia, they have a strong food culture. Before strong! I... <laughs> strong! Before I went to Malaysia, I did not know you guys really care about food so much. As you guys know from my channel, I'm a big foodie. <laughs> and I did not know you guys love food as much as me. Or probably even more. I don't know. You can debate about it in the comment <laughs> section below. As I said before, you guys are really diverse. There's food from all over the world. And what's awesome, it's affordable. It's not going to break the bank. And didn't it surprise you as well at how proud and passionate Malaysian people are about their food? Uh, yes, I agree with you. Especially Nancy Lamar. Never talk <laughs> bad about Nancy Lamar. <laughs> don't ever talk bad about Nancy Lamar. If you do, that's the end of you. And if you don't like Nancy Lamar, then something's wrong with you. Surprise number seven. When I first arrived at Kuala Lumpur, I was so surprised by how clean and almost laid back the city is. Like coming from different cities in Asia, I think Kuala Lumpur is definitely one of the least hectic capital cities of the country. Oh, I would agree. Especially 100%. with like the public transportation. Yeah. They have a monorail, they have a metro, they have buses. So it's really efficient with public transportation. Really efficient. And on the clean side of things, there's like no litter anywhere. 
No, I haven't seen, like, especially in the central part of the city, I haven't seen any litter. I'm sure probably every city, if you go more to the outskirts, there is, but... Maybe, yeah. I haven't seen mostly in the center part of the city. It's really clean. Yeah. They clean the roads. And hey, right now, the Adhan is playing the call to prayer in Malaysia. So we're gonna stop the video real quick, and we're, we're gonna continue. All right? So see you later. Peace. Number eight would have to be Kuala Lumpur. Even Malaysia is really developed. When I came here, I was shocked. I was surprised. There is so much buildings are getting built and you guys have the world's largest everything. You have one of the world's largest malls. You have the world's largest buildings. The second largest in the world second, actually. Yeah. Murdaka 118. <laughs> Shout out to Murdaka 118. Transportation is really nice and developed compared to other cities. And adding to that, Malaysia is like the sweet spot in Asia. Super developed and you have everything you need, but it's not overly expensive also. Yeah, so it's developed and it's affordable. What more could you ask for, really? Saya sayang Malaysia. Saya sayang Malaysia. <laughs> Coming in with surprise number nine has to be the shopping. I was never really a shopping addict before coming to Malaysia. The shopping scene in Malaysia is crazy. I mean, you lot have seen my videos, shopping. I'm always shopping. There's so many malls to see here. Some of the biggest malls, some of the best malls I've ever seen. Can you name to. a few in Kuala Lumpur? Let's see, how's your mall da, 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 da. in Kuala okay. Lumpur? Okay, Surya KLCC. That's one. Pavilion. That's two. Wanutama. Wanutama, yeah. Sunway Pyramid. Oh, that's four. Bajaya Times Square. Oh, I love that mall. They have two pavilion malls in Kuala Lumpur. Did you know that? Oh, Did you know that? Good yeah, one. so the shopping scene is amazing here. Honestly, I was impressed. This brings us to number 10. <laughs> Malaysia is truly Asia. What I mean by truly Asia is if you want to get a piece of Asia from all sorts of places and you just want to travel to one country, say, for example, you only have a week, let's say Malaysia. Why is that? It's strong in nature, strong with races of people. So you can see Chinese people, Indian people, you can see Malay people, food. So I'll say truly Asia. I know it's kind of like the catchphrase, I a little bit cliche. That. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I've never heard that before. Yeah. Would you agree it's truly Asia? Like, is there any place in Asia you know that like has so many different races of people that could speak English, so many different types of cuisines for affordable price and develop? You can't get any better, can you really? And that brings us to a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash those likes. And subscribe, and also check out Solomon's YouTube channel where he creates content in Malaysia also. And if you enjoyed seeing us doing this collaboration together and want to see us do more, let us know and we will do that. Definitely. Voices. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Peace.